Hi, my name is Amar. In the last video, I discussed that the root of our app must be wrapped with provider scope widget. In this video, I will discuss the first type of Riverport provider that is provider. Now, this what is Riverport provider? It is an object that encapsulates a piece of state and allows listening to that state. Riverport provider store some state which can be accessed from multiple location. It catches the state computation. It reduces the reveal of widgets and we can write the code which is more testable. Now I will discuss the meaning of all these points as I will proceed in the tutorial. Correct. Now how to declare a Riverport provider? The syntax is like final name provider equals to provider of a string ref a return hello Amar. Now what is the meaning of this statement? Here the name provider is the global variable that will be used to read the state of the provider. Now provider of string this specifies what kind of provider we are using. Now what kind of provider we are using? We are using provider and it specifies the type of state it holds. What type of state it holds? It holds string. Okay, And it is a function that creates the state and we get a, a ref parameter here that ref parameter can be used to read other providers. Now this riverport provider is used for accessing dependencies and objects that are immutable. This means the state doesn't change like it can be used to access the repository service and some other classes that are immutable. So the bottom line is that we use this riverport provider if the object is immutable. This means the state of the object doesn't change. Now let me show you how to write this in VS code. Let me show you. So here I have created this project and as you can see that the root of our app is wrapped inside the provider scope widget. Correct. Now here I will create a provider like this final name provider equals to provider of what type string type and after that it will get a ref parameter and inside this what I will do I will return hello let me write my name that is Amar okay this is how we can create the provider. Now in the next video, I will discuss how to access the created provider in our widget. I hope you have liked my video. If you have liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.